Hi guys, so I wanted to show you um, how to predict products for chemical equations. Um, so when you're predicting products, what's going to happen is you're just going to have um, the reactants and then nothing else. So they're, they can be kind of challenging, but if you kind of follow my advice here, it, they should go okay. So the main thing is you have to decide what type of reaction it is so that you can kind of figure out um, what to do. So if it were a synthesis reaction, it's just going to be an element and an element. So example, you might see sodium plus diatomic chlorine and then nothing else, but you'll know that those are going to combine and form one compound. When you form the compound over here, though, you do want to make sure you're looking at charges. Um, so I don't bring that to with because sodium is plus, chlorine is minus. Um, and then afterwards, I would balance this. Decomposition, the giveaway here is that you're going to have um, just one compound right away. So it would be like aluminum um, oxide. So you would just have right away the yield. Um, and again, now you're, if you know it's a decomp, you're just going to break it into the two elements. And the only thing to remember is that oxygen is a diatomic Brinkelhoff. Um, and then you can easily balance this by getting six oxygens. And then you would have four aluminums. Single replacement, um, the giveaway will be that you'll have um, a single element. And then you'll have um, some kind of a compound. Let's say you have this. Um, so the magnesium is a metal. It'll go in and take out the metal. So I know this is single replacement. I have a single guy, lonely guy, and a compound. So the, um, the single is going to go with the other part of the compound. And again, you do want to make sure you realize this is plus two, nitrates minus one. So then the formula is right here. So when I come over here to predict products, notice I bring that three with because that's part of nitrate. So I only bring the subscripts with if it's a polyatomic. Um, and then that kicked out sodium. So poor sodium is now by himself. Um, and then again, you can easily balance this. You have two nitrates, so you would need a two here. Now I have two sodium, so I would need a two here. Uh, double replacement, I'm going to spend more time on these, but this would be compound plus compound. So uh, you might see, you know, um, like this compound magnesium sulfate plus, let's say, sodium chloride. Um, when you do this, you're going to literally switch the cations. But again, when you come over here, um, the magnesium is plus two, and it's going to go with the chloride, which is minus one. So this will be the formula. And you always put the positive first. And then my other formula is going to be sodium first because it's positive. And then it's going to go with the sulfate. Notice I'm bringing the 4 with because that's part of that poly. Sulfate's minus 2. This is plus 1, so I would need a 2 down here. And then I can balance by just putting a 2 in front. So I'll just um, show you a few more of these. Main thing with these is just practice. Um, so here, let's do um, number 13. This is in your packet, and this is on page 19. So if you want to grab that, you sure can. So here we go. Um, magnesium, just plain magnesium, hydrochloric acid. Remember, there's no oxygen, so it's just going to be hydrogen with um, chloride, plus one, minus one, so that's the formula reacts. So they're telling us it's single, which is good. So we know the cation will replace the cation. So hydrogen is going to be by itself. Now the magnesium is going to go with the chloride. Magnesium is plus two, chloride's minus one. So I'm going to need two of these. And then also, don't forget, this guy's diatomic. So then I would want to balance. And you can see if I put a two here, now I have two hydrogens, two chlorines, one magnesium, so I'm good. Um, so let me go, let's do 
Um, let's just go forward now and I'll show you some other things. Um, one is that when we do the double replacement switching, I showed you one of these, but let's talk about it a little more. The cation um, of the first reactant, um, you need to write these out if they're not already given in two formulas. Um, again, the cation of the uh, second compound is going to go with the um, it's anion, but then essentially this is kind of just saying you're going to switch the cations. Um, and then, you know, you're going to balance charge over here. So when I have a double replacement, I know I'm going to have two compounds. I know I'm switching these cations. And I also know I'm going to bring this three with because that's part of nitrate. However, I'm not going to bring that two with. So when I get over here, it doesn't matter which one comes first. Um, I'm going to put the calcium, this is my thinking, with the nitrate. And you can see if I bring down the 2, bring down the 1, formula is going to be CaNO3 parenthesis 2. And then silver is going to go with the chloride. Again, here's my thinking. You don't have to show this, but you have to think it. Silver is plus 1, chloride is minus 1. So the formula is AgCl. So no two, I did not bring that two with. I'm using charges to decide how many each I need. Um, and then I would balance. I'm gonna need a two here for the chlorides. And then I have two nitrates, so I would need a two here. And then um, let me talk to you about neutralization reactions are just a special type of double replacement. It'll be an acid and a base, and those will neutralize and essentially cancel each other out, and that gives you water and salt. And salt is sometimes sodium chloride, but sometimes it's just another ionic compound. So they are just double replacement reactions. So I'll show you, um, here's an example. So this would be um, sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide. So I'm gonna do it like a double, I'm gonna switch these two around and then I'll have the two new compounds and when I come over here um, the hydrogen I'm not bringing that two with because that's not part of a poly the hydrogen is going to go with the OH and you know hydrogen is plus OH is minus so it's going to be HOH which is water and it's helpful to write it that way because of balancing the sodium is going to go with the sulfate and then just don't forget that the sodium has to come first Sulfate's minus two, so if I crisscross, formula is going to be Na2SO4. Then I would balance the equation. I have two sodiums, so I'll put a two here. I have one sulfate, one sulfate. I have two hydrogens, and I have two hydroxides right now, so I would want to put a two here. Oops, going too fast. So here, let's do one more. Um, so this is the format that you're going to see in the assignment on page 19, where it's given in words. We can do this one and then maybe even do one on the worksheet together. So here, ammonium hydroxide. I have to realize this is plus. Hydroxide's minus. So I know, you know, this would be my answer part. You know, so I, that's my compound. Plus nitric acid. So I, I have to remember an acid always starts with hydrogen. Um, it doesn't have hydro, which means it comes from a poly. Ick came from nitrate. So I'm going to find nitrate on my pink. It's minus 1. This is plus 1. So it's just going to be HNO3. So remember, this is a base because it has hydroxide. This is an acid because it has hydrogen. So I'm going to get salt and water over here. This is just a double replacement. So the um, ammonium and the hydrogen are going to switch spots. You can just remember you're always going to have water, and it's helpful to write it this way. And then you know that the ammonium is going to go with the nitrate, but they're each equal in charge, so we don't need to crisscross it or anything. And so this is our salt and water. So why don't we do um, maybe one more on that worksheet together. So this is your packet. 
Let's do um, number 17. Sulfuric acid. So again, my thinking, I know it's an acid, so it's going to have hydrogen. It's not a hydroacid, which means I have a poly. My poly, ick, came from sulfate. So I look on my pink sheet, SO4 minus 2. Then I crisscross, so the formula for sulfuric is H2SO4. And it's going to react with the base, which is calcium hydroxide. Calcium is plus 2. Hydroxide is minus. Crisscross. Don't forget to put parentheses around that OH. And then they produce, and this is where you're going to get the salt in the water. So you can, if you want, just put water. You know you're going to get water. There's no other formula for it. Um, and then you realize what you're doing is you're crossing or switching these two. So double replacement. So calcium comes over here, and it's going to be with the sulfate. Again, over here, you got to look up charge and think about what would the new formula be. Um, so they're both um, going to add to zero. So it's just going to be CaSO4. So balancing, we have two hydroxides. So I want to have two of these. So I'm going to put a two in front. I have two hydrogens. I have two hydrogens. So I am done.